was told that there's some children that are missing today, but we have a good enough crowd to tell a good story. Well, I remember so much um, being a child myself, and um, one of the most fun things to do, in fact, I have a, a younger brother. He's only 13 years old. Uh, there's quite a distance in age between us, but um, I always ask him, what's your favorite thing at school? And his answer is always, recess. Recess is the funnest thing at school because you get to go outside and play. Well, today, I'm going to tell you a little story about going out to recess. Whenever I was in school, I went to a, a very small um, Seventh-day Adventist Christian school in my town. There were only 25 students from, eight, from kindergarten through eighth grade. <laughs> and so, that's right, I was the the president of my class, three people. <coughs> but we were, out to, we were out playing in recess, and um, we were playing uh, a sport called dodgeball. Do any of you like dodgeball? Dodgeball is a very fun sport, a fun game, where you all know who got dodgeball, right? You all know what dodgeball is? A game where you throw across the line the ball at uh, the opponents. So we were out playing dodgeball, and... Um, I was uh, one of the last people left and on my team, and they were trying to throw the ball at me, and I was ducking and diving and trying to not get hit by the ball. And pretty soon, um, they threw the ball at me. Uh, hit, they threw two balls at the same time. One hit me in the feet, and the other one hit me in the face. Um, that was against the rules. The rules was that if you hit somebody in the face, then the person who threw the ball goes out. But... The argument was, well, you got hit on the feet, too, at the same time. So is, are you out or are you in? Is the game over? Did we win or did you lose? And that, that uh, argument got into a kind of a scuffle, and we began to fight and argue, and we began just uh, pummeling each other with the balls. And um, pretty soon, the teacher had to come and, and separate us. Hey, hey, that's not how you play. The, the game is over. Stop. Quit. And... Eventually, he sat us down for the rest of recess time. We weren't allowed to play any more dodgeball. We had to sit down quietly until we could cool off and, and talk to one another about what had happened. And at that point, um, the person who I had been fighting with was actually my best friend. Uh, interesting how that happens, right? You get in fights with your best friend. <clears throat> well, afterwards, I realized... You know, why are we fighting? He's my best friend. Uh, we're good friends of one another, so it was our time to go and make amends, to go and talk to one another and to say, I'm sorry, to give one another a big hug and to say, we, we, we don't care about dodgeball. Friendship is more important. And so the next day, I brought a gift for my friend. It was a, a candy bar. It was a candy bar, and it was a special gift for him. And I said, I want to apologize for throwing the ball at you because you hit me in the face. I know it was an accident, and I want to apologize and make things right with you. And so we said, okay, and we went to go play dodgeball again the next day and had fun and didn't fight anymore. The lesson um, is very obvious. Fighting occurs sometimes. In every age group, <laughs> fighting occurs. Hopefully, uh, none will happen this afternoon at the business meeting. <laughs> but um, fighting, fighting occurs. It's not the funnest thing, but I think the most important thing is what you do afterwards, how you, how you deal with the problem that has occurred and, and how you reconcile the problem that has existed. In this new year that we've just started, um, we have an opportunity to start fresh again. And in order to do that, sometimes we have to, to use a word that many of us don't like. I'm sorry. It's a word that um, I've gotten to say a lot in my marriage with my wife. And it's a, it's a word that you guys will get to say a lot on the recess, on the playground. And we want to remember that if we want to start things right and fresh, um, that's an important, an important thing to say and to really mean it. So I thank you so much for listening to my story, and you can go back to your seats now. <laughs>